Hey guys, this is Chris Leiter with MobilityDigest.com. I'm going to show you how to sync your phone to your computer using Bluetooth. And we're going to show you how to do um, Bluetooth audio, uh, Bluetooth active sync, and uh, also figure out what else your computer can support, whether it's um, um, hands-free for phone calls or file transfers. So anyway, we're going to start out with the phone. Actually. We're going to start out with the computer because we got to change Bluetooth setting on your computer because it might not be enabled. So if you have a Bluetooth enabled computer or if you're using a Bluetooth dongle and you've got the drivers installed, go ahead. Uh, and I'm using Windows 7. Uh, if you're using another operating system, um, it's, it's very similar settings that you have to change, but the way you get to them is different. But in Windows 7, go ahead and click on the start button. And down here, just click on the start button and type in Bluetooth. So you got Bluetooth, and if you see at the top here, you got the Bluetooth icon, but then right here it says change Bluetooth settings. So that's where we want to go. So go to change Bluetooth settings. And it brings up this window here. And what you want to do is make sure that discovery is enabled. So allow Bluetooth devices to find this computer. Click on that, and then click OK. So then we go back to the phone. Now on the phone. Go ahead, and this is running, uh, this is a Tilt 2 running Energy ROM latest build. It's the December 25th build. So I'm going to go to the start button, go to settings, bring up your Bluetooth uh, settings. So it says Bluetooth is off, so turn it on. And what we're going to do is it says, you know, this lets you list your paired devices, but we don't have anything paired. So we need to add a device. We'll go to add. And it says, let's find Chris' laptop. I'll choose that. And on, the, on your computer, you'll see a, a box will pop up. So we click on that box. And that basically just says the device is trying to pair. So click on that. And you verify that the numbers match. So you got to verify that the numbers match. Yes, they match. So you click yes on your phone, as well as on your computer. Then it's going to install a bunch of drivers. Phone. It's going to ask you if you want to attempt to connect the internet. Hit OK. Accept that. So, anyway, back on your phone, what you want to do is hold down on the name, select update, it'll give you the screen, and then choose what you want to choose. So, we'll just choose them all. So that's active sync, hands-free, stereo audio, and file transfer. Hit done. And you're finished. So what we'll try out first is the active sync. So I'll go ahead and hit active sync. And it establishes an active sync connection. So you'll see, let me get this window out of the way and this one out of the way. And there we go. My mobile is now connected. I'll bring that up. And there we go. We've got the Windows Mobile Device Center. And we can set up our device or just connect without setting up. Give that a second. Everything's a little bit slower over Bluetooth. The price you pay for convenience. But uh, while I'm waiting for that, I'll just bring up my mobile arm. And you'll see that it's actually connected, bringing up everything that's on the screen with my, my phone. Same thing. Let me just go ahead and I'll hit the start button. So there you go. Go back to the Bluetooth. There you are. So finally, here we go. It's connected over here. And I can browse the contents of my device over Bluetooth. There we go. So that's one trick of the uh, Bluetooth connection. So we'll go ahead and enable stereo audio. Oops, I do not want hands free at the moment. Let me just unclick that. Disconnect that. 
stereo audio. So there we go. Now I'm on stereo audio. And what I can do is on my phone go to multimedia, go to Windows Media, and then I can load up. I'll just load up something real quick. Go with this, play that, and you get music on the computer that you can control. So I can pause it, play it, skip tracks. And that's coming over the computer speakers. Now, if I were to disconnect stereo audio, it comes over the computer. It comes over the speaker on my phone. There you go. Very cool. So we'll go ahead and pause that, and we're going to disconnect the stereo audio once again, and then we'll go in there hands-free, which is a little bit different. So now we're on the headset, hands-free headset, and what I'll do is make a phone so call. On the phone, I'll bring up 1-800-DISCOVER. There we go, 1-800-DISCOVER. And I'll call. Thank you for calling Discover. So there you go. Please enter the last four digits of your account number. And that's about it. We get out of the uh, dialer so you can't see my phone numbers. So anyway, you come back here and you can disable that as well. So disconnect. And then the last thing is the file transfer. I particularly don't even like. I don't. I don't even believe it works very well. I think you're better off with doing. Um, and this is more for transferring from phone to phone than it is really from computer to phone. I believe that using the Active Sync connection or just a USB cable has always been a bit better. So let me go ahead and cancel this. It just shows that it works. So we'll go ahead and disable that. So anyway. You've got active sync file transfer, stereo audio, and hands free, and it's very easy to do. If you've got any questions, uh, post them onto this this uh, uh, blog, and uh, I'll try to answer them as best I can. Thanks.